Good morning and welcome back to another episode of the Wombat Dungeon Master's Beginner Guides where we're going to go ahead and talk about equipment. This is one of the key items that you need to be aware of and figure out as early as possible in the game so you can really get the, the rewards that you want out of it. Now you don't have to go out there and, and go ahead and grab a full set of mythic armor. Uh, you can grab low tier gear but make sure it is the right gear for you, especially if you're a new player. Uh, some of the things, just a, a, a quick hint that you're going to want to focus on is XP, contribution, uh, and things like that. You don't want to go and get like the clan karma, uh, so just be very careful with the type of equipment that you're going to get. We'll go ahead and walk through the details, show you where to go as for reference guides, how to equip, on equip. Uh, it's a pretty easy process, but it, there's some nuances there that you do have to worry about. Here's the main screen that you go into. If you want to get to your equipment and your, your wombat, uh, go ahead down here to the bottom left where it says equip your wombat and click on that. And you'll go ahead and see that you have eight slots, eight equipment slots here, and then you have two sidekick slots. We're not going to talk about the sidekick slots right now. I'll do a full separate video on that one. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and focus on these eight slots up here. All right, there are glasses, uh, we call them amulets. Uh, we got digging tools, we got tops, shoes, bags, lights, and hats that you're gonna go ahead and, and equip, equip. So before you even go ahead to the secondary market and dive in and just start buying the cheapest items, because they're probably not the best, what you wanna do is you wanna go to that, that Learn More article that I mentioned. This is the main, main screen. You click on this link right up here on the top that says Learn More and it's gonna take you over to this page. Scroll about halfway down, and you're gonna to get to the equipment section. There's a number of different characteristics or traits, we'll call them, uh, for, for each of uh, the, the types of armor. Remember I told you there's eight. You got light, digging tool, bag, shoes, top, hat, glasses, and amulet. And essentially, each one of those types of, of, of equipment has several different types of of traits um, or benefits that you can get from it. For example, the light, you can only get coal harvesting, iron harvesting, and XP. As a new player, you want to focus on the XP just to make sure that you're leveling up as fast as possible. But the problem with that is it's also the most expensive, so make sure you're always looking at your budget. So take the time before you start buying equipment and take a look at this Learn More uh, look at the different characteristics, kind of get a plan of what you want to do within your budget. So maybe you want to go for a, a higher tier or higher rarity uh, light XP mod uh, instead of grabbing some of these other ones just because of the price. You're going to have to take a look at the secondary market and identify that for yourself because it changes so frequently. I can't really tell you what the prices are right now. Um, if you scroll down just a little bit more, it's going to tell you the exact equipment that you want to take a look at. If you take a look at this, you'll see every single piece of equipment comes in five different rarities, from common all the way down to mythic, and obviously as you get with the, the more rare uh, items, you're going to get the best rewards for it. You'll see over here on the right hand side that it, it shows you the percentage. Every single, just about every single piece of equipment that you're going to take a look at in the secondary market is going to be level one, but there are a few level two, level three. Uh, I haven't seen many four or fives, um, but you'll see that that most of the stuff that you're going to look at is going to be here, and it says right on the NFT what, what level it is. Um, so you'll take a look at the percentage. That's, that's basically the boost that you're going to get on top of whatever your normal stats are. So, for example, we talked about how the, the light has three different types of benefits. Uh, XP is the one that you want to go for. For example, say the, the blue flashlight is in your price range. Um, and that's going to give you an extra 1.5% XP. As you see, if you go down, you can, you can afford the Mythics. 9.38 XP is a huge boost in that, and it'll help you move a whole lot faster. You can get equipment right now several different ways. You can get it on the secondary market or you can get it in packs. And there are a whole assortment of types of packs that, that are out there. Uh, every season they release more uh, and they usually have a different version of it. Um, so, so there's a lot of different options out there. Most of them are going to give you the higher price ones or the higher tier ones. The diamonds and the golds are going to give you a much better chance at getting the, the mythics and the legendaries. If you get a standard pack, it's going to be uh, most likely you're going to get a common, maybe a rare out of those. Um, so if you take a look through this, uh, there's a whole bunch of different ones. 
but they're all they they keep this pretty much up to date when you're when you're looking for your piece of equipment so take a look at the prices on the secondary market compare them to the characteristics that you want you can even go into it knowing that hey i want some speed because i want to run my missions faster and there you go with that you can go ahead and take a look at these for example get a jackhammer or even if you you can't afford that uh go go with a garden hoe or a dough scraper uh those are definitely great options especially for new players don't break the bank on this. Uh, earn your way up because throughout the season you're going to get packs. And there's a chance in those packs that you could get higher rarity items. Or you could get to the point where you go ahead and blend to higher rarity items. So that's how you go through the process of picking uh, the different types of um, different types of equipment that you want. Just because we get a lot of questions around this on what the different types of uh different types of benefits are. I'm just going to quickly go through some of these. Obviously, if it's just coal harvesting, iron harvesting, uranium harvesting, it just means you're going to get a boost on that type of harvesting. Contributions goes towards your daily chest. The higher your contribution uh, basically means that the better chance that you're going to have in getting a an NFT or an NFT pack out of it, plus any additional rewards, season-ending rewards that you're going to get. Uh, so you definitely want to try and max that as as high as possible. XP, we already talked about. The higher that, the more XP you're going to get each run, and you're going to be able to level faster, uh, reduce duration runs. Uh, it's the same as speed. Um, so speed is basically when you're going to go ahead and run a five-minute mission. Uh, if you have a, a speed uh, benefit, you go ahead and reduce that by whatever percentage it is. For example, five-minute mission could be four minutes and 55 seconds. So it's just, you're able to run more missions in a day since they run faster. Uh, and then uh, one of the other ones, the rope boost. This is the one that got me also earlier. Um, rope boost is is really connected to the we the well of wealth. Uh, if you wear the, the rope boost while you're in the well of wealth, accepting your rewards, and I'll have a whole separate video on that, uh, you actually get extended rope. So it, it'll be longer than what it's, it normally is for, for people that don't have the rope boost. And then last but not least, there are more NFTs. That goes with your if you're wearing it during the, 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 the expiration or the generation of the daily chest that's in the top right corner, uh, you'll, you have a chance at getting more NFTs or more NFT packs than you normally would without it. So that's what the, the different rewards mean. All right, we jump back over here to the Wombat because I want to go ahead and show you how to uh, equip them, unequip it, uh, go ahead and unstake your your equipment because every time you bring something in here, it does take some time for it to un, unequip or I should say you, you'll be able to unstake it. Um, let me go ahead and show you an example here. So if I go ahead and click on the glasses here, you see I have all of these that are available to me within the game. Uh, there's some that are available to claim that I had used them at one point and then they I unequipped them and they went through the process of unstaking. Uh, so they're available for me to grab off, but there's other ones that are not. It takes about 24 hours. I should say it takes 24 hours. Where it goes through that process, you can go ahead and unstake it and go ahead and get it back in your wax wallet to uh, either give to someone, send to someone, uh, or sell in the secondary market. So in order to equip one, it's pretty simple. What you're going to see is uh, you just go ahead and click on equip. Uh, then <laughs> I'm moving from a mythic to a common here, which obviously is not normal. Uh, we'll, go, we'll go ahead and equip it. And then you'll see it move to the top. This means it is equipped. And then you'll see down here that this one is not equipped. And it's going through the unstaking process. It basically say one in uns unstaking. 24 hours from now, if I want to, I can go ahead and claim that out of the game. Uh, but I'm not going to want to do that. Uh, let me just click out of here. You see it is now available here. And you're going to see this little pink... Uh, yeah, pink arrow that's pointing up. That basically shows that I can go ahead and uh, I have a, a piece of equipment that is better in my bag than this one. So go ahead and click on that and I can go and grab it. I'll equip this again. And then you see it jump back to the top there. And then now it's available. And you can see that little circle's gone because this is the highest tier item that I have for glasses. So you that's pretty simple as going back and forth. One of the quests uh, every, every season is that you're supposed to stay commons on our rares, epics, and so forth down the road. Uh, so you can easily switch between the two. The only challenge is you can't sell the item that you just put on and ran a quest with uh, until it actually goes through that unstaking, the 24-hour unstaking process. 
So that's as simple as it is. You can do that with any of your items. You can go ahead and click on, see what you have available, see what you think is best. You're gonna see that it shows the benefit right here. For example, this is an Epic, uh, but I get 2.5 contribution. If I scroll down, I have this one, which is on staking, which I use on a daily basis, which has, it's a legendary, and it has 7.5 more, quote unquote, more NFTs. I don't wanna use that on a normal process. I only wanna use that during the daily chest opening and this one all the time because it gives me the additional contribution. So that's how equipment works. Go ahead in the comments down below. Uh, let me know if you have any questions for them. I will do two more future videos around this area in the, in the game. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the upgrading equipment, show you how to go through that process, and then also do another video on Sidekicks to give you all the answers that you need for that one. I hope you all have a great day and I'll talk to you later, bye.